The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were sensible. The foolish ones did take their lamps, but they brought no oil. Whereas the sensible ones took flasks of oil as well as their lamps. But at midnight there was a cry, The bridegroom is here, go out and meet him. At this all those bridesmaids woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish ones said to the sensible ones, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone up to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. So stay awake because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Pakibati nga ng good afternoon din ang ating katabi. Good afternoon to all of you. O gabi na ba? Mukhang gabi pero hapon pa lang. And to our online parishioners who are joining us through online live streaming, your prayers are with us also in this Mass as we hold it here in the shrine of San Padre Pio. This is it. Ito po yung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkaroon ng pilgrimage. When we were designing the pilgrimage, we had two places in mind, basically. The shrine of, of course, Santa Maria Goretti, the patron saint of the parish, and also of San Padre Pio. And finally, we are here on this Sunday Mass. We are holding it in the place of San Padre Pio. May I invite you for a moment to once again present to the Lord all our intentions and petitions for this Mass. Behind us used to be the, the canopy or the holding place of the body of Padre Pio, just right there behind you, before he was transferred to the new church. So, to our front is the altar of the Lord, and at our back is the resting place of Padre Pio. And so, we present to the Lord our prayers and intentions for this pilgrimage, for our family, for our loved ones, for our friends, for those who have asked us to pray for them, we come to this place, this pilgrimage site where this great saint, holy man, holy monk, holy capuchin priest lived, ministered, and served, San Padre Pio. So in a moment of silence, let us present to the Lord, through the intercession of Padre Pio, all our needs and intentions. Saint Padre Pio Pietrelcina, pray for us. What has been going on in my mind when I arrived and going around? Nawala po ako ng ilang minuto or ilang 
dumiretso po ko agad ako dito habang kayo'y nagsa-shopping. Eh, dito na po ako sa old church. And when I was going to this church, kitang-kita ko kagad yung hospital. At, um, and something you know, struck me a while ago, these words in the, the name of the hospital, Sollievo de la Soferenza. Pakiulit nga yun. <laughs> Casa Sollievo de la Soferenza. The hope or the home of the relief for the suffering. Yun yung pangalan ng ospital ni San Padre Pio. Sollievo de la Soferenza. Relief of the suffering. So yun po yung word na paulit-ulit sa akin kanina pa. No? Relief. Relief of the suffering. And Padre Pio accomplished this relief for the suffering by way of suffering. He did not deny suffering. In fact, all his life, Padre Pio's life was full of suffering. Imagine to have, you know, to have asthma since the beginning uh, and also to be given this gift but also some sort of a cross of stigmata all your life you are in pain you are suffering you have a wound that never heals so no wonder Padre Pio is well known all over the world because so many of us can relate with his life even if he was a priest who did not go out of his convent because of his Fragile, fragile body. So he was not able to go to any mission land because he was sickly. So imagine to be a, a, a man, a priest, who is always afflicted with pain and suffering, with sickness. So many people can relate with him because in one way or another, we are sick. We are all sick. We are all in need of relief. We are all in need of sollievo, of consolation, of some, some comfort because of so many pains that we endure. So let me ask you for the first part of our meditation, what are the pains in your life? What are the sufferings that you bear that you would like to leave behind in this shrine? Mamaya po, bago kayo umalis, nasa likod lang ninyo yung, yung used to be the resting place of Padre Pio. And there are so many paper prayers over there that are still untouched. Maybe you can also live here in this place of Padre Pio. All the pains and sufferings that have been causing you a lot of discomfort in your life could be bodily illness. So we ask Padre Pio, Padre Pio, iiwan ko na sa'yo yung sakit ko. Padre Pio, iiwan ko na sa'yo yung aking mga, uh, mga sakit at sakit na nararamdaman sa buhay. Let me entrust my pains and sufferings to your pains and sufferings. And give me some comfort, Padre Pio. Give me some relief. That is our word for today. Padre Pio, give us some relief and give us some, some peace in our hearts. One thing that struck me the most as we were going around in this place was the last part of his journey. After enduring so much pain and suffering in life, at the end of his journey, no more stigmata. Ganda, no? Parang si Lord naman, masyado naman kay Padre Pio. <laughs> Yun ang pinagninilayong ko kanina. Buong buhay niya, pinahirapan mo. Tapos sa dulo, tinanggal mo. Tinanggal mo yung kanyang pain. No? Yung tinanggal mo yung kanyang stigmata. Of course, there are still some, some wounds in his body. But, I don't know, I was just struck by it. No? At the end of the journey, nawala yung stigmata 
Tapos naging parang baby yung kanyang, kanyang skin. Baliktad tayo, di ba? Tayo baliktad. Nagsisimula tayong fresh yung skin. Tapos, huwag na tayong pumunta doon. At tayo ay um, uh, mawawala ng, ng may karamdaman. Pero si Padre Pio, meron siyang relief at the end of everything. And it gave me some hope no, in, my, in my prayer earlier. It gave me some, some hope that there is an end to this suffering. There is an end to that pain. And let, let us believe in that. That this too shall pass. Itong paghihirap na pinagdadaanan natin, this too shall pass. It is but temporary. At the end of the day, we will be given the relief from the sufferings that we endure in life. And we will be prepared to meet the Lord in paradise. At the end of the hall, something also struck me. Ang sabi doon ay, yung mamamatay na si Padre Pio. One enters heaven through love. That is through the things we have loved. One enters heaven through love. That is through the things we have loved. I think Padre Pio was given that comfort at the end of his life because now, finally, he will meet love. Love himself. And in his life, there was just so much love for people. He would always give relief for the people who would come to him in confession, in healing sessions, in prayers, in his sacrifices. He gave so much love, comfort, and hope to other people. And at the end of his life, at the end of the journey, he was given that consolation of relief through love. Because of love. Hanggat may pag-ibig sa puso, mawawala ang sakit. I think it is love that heals all wounds. If there is love in our hearts, if there is forgiveness, if there is the capacity to forgive, then we will be healed. We will be healed from all our pains and sufferings. And I think it is what the Lord is giving to us now. He's giving us healing. He's giving us relief. Is giving us comfort and hope. So sa ating misa ngayon, sa harap at sa presensya ni Padre Pio, sama-sama tayo na magdasal. Lord, relieve us of any pain. Take away any kind of suffering. Not because we don't like it, but because that is your reward for us who love you, who will always have faith and cling to you. St. Padre Pio, intercede for us. St. Padre Pio, heal us from our sickness, from our pains. So may I invite everyone now? We ask Padre Pio and his intercession to heal us from any infirmity that we are enduring, that we are facing, be it bodily or spiritual or emotional, we pray for the healing of our children, of the children, of the young men and women in our homes. Pagdasal natin ang kagalingan nila sa kanila mga pinagdadaan ng mga hirap. We ask the Lord through the intercession of Padre Pio for healing. For those of us, our loved ones who are sick back home, we pray for their healing. For those of us who are going through a lot of distress, of stress, of many problems and adversities in life, we ask Padre Pio to relieve us, to give us healing. Padre Pio, heal us. You are here. You ministered to so many people here in this place. We come and visit you. Give us that grace also of healing. Pagalingin mo din kami sa aming karamdaman sa katawan, sa aming mga karamdaman sa kalooban at puso, sa aming pag-iisip, 
sa hidwaan sa aming pamilya, sa aming mga pagsubok na hinaharap. Saint Padre Pio, heal us. Heal us, Padre Pio. Prayer for the intercession of Saint Pio of Pietrelcina. Together we pray. Dear God, you generously bless your servant, Saint Pio of Pietrelcina, with the gifts of the Spirit. You mark his body with the five wounds of Christ crucified as a powerful, powerful witness to the saving passion and death of your Son, endowed with the gift of discernment. Saint Pio labored endlessly in the confessional for the salvation of the souls. With reverence and intense devotion in the celebration of the Mass, he invited countless men and women to a greater union with Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Through the intercession of Saint Pio of Pietrelcina, I confidently beseech you to grant me the grace that is present to the Lord through the intercession of Padre Pio, our intentions and needs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Prayer of Saint Padre Pio after Holy Communion. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life. And without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light. And without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is. I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength, so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united with you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy 
that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure to do in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. It is a great privilege to say Mass where Padre Pio used to say Mass. It's so wonderful to attend Mass where Padre Pio used to say Mass for thousands of people. So it's a privilege and we are all grateful to the Lord for giving us this opportunity to visit St. Padre Pio in his shrine, in his tomb, in his resting place. So may I invite all of you, before you go, relieve yourself of any suffering. Relief from suffering. That is what Padre Pio can give us. Not to avoid suffering, not to deny suffering, but to allow the Lord to relieve us. Because that's what the Lord said. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So when we surrender all these burdens to the Lord, we are relieved. Because it is the Lord who will help us carry these burdens. Amen? Amen. So pwede ba lahat kayo na may mga dinadala-dala sa inyong puso at kalooban, sa inyong isip na gumugulo, lahat yan iwanan natin dito. Dahil si Padre Pio, yun ang kanyang mission, to relieve people of their pains and sufferings. So imagine that, no? All your life, you have to endure physical sickness, you have to endure stigmata, and you have to fight the devil every day almost. No? You have to struggle and battle with Satan all the time. So it was not an easy life. No? But through, through all these difficulties and hardships, St. Padre Pio, I think, is so popular because he's so like us, afflicted and tested in many ways, but he never gave up. And his weapon, nothing extraordinary. His weapon was what? Rosary. Praying the rosary. Going to Mass. Hearing confession. So, and of course, helping the poor, helping the sick. So these are not extraordinary things. But because of his deep love for Jesus and his deep prayer life, he was able to conquer all these things. So tingin ko po, Kayang labanan naman ng mga paghihirap just the way Padre Pio did it by the power of prayer, by the power of faith in the Lord. Nothing extraordinary. It's just stick to prayer. Pray, hope, do not worry. Sabi nga ni Padre Pio. All these things that we, that we are going through in life, in the end, mawawala din yung stigmata na yan. <laughs> kahit matagal na mawala yan, pero mawawala din yan. So, yung mga sugat ng ating puso, ng ating, ng ating buhay, the Lord will also heal them. So, let us now have a prayer of healing. May I invite you to close your eyes and bow your head. As we stand here in the resting place of St. Padre Pio, let us experience His healing presence right here, where he lived, where he ministered and served, where he died. I ask you, dear Lord, to heal our pilgrim participants of any kind of affliction, of any kind of suffering. I ask you, O God, through the intercession of St. Padre Pio, I ask you to relieve them of all their sufferings and pains in life. Those who are afflicted with body, bodily illness, I ask you, Lord, to heal them through the intercession of St. Padre Pio. For all those who are struggling emotionally, mentally, psychologically, I ask you, Padre Pio, through your mighty intercession, ask the Lord Jesus to set free to set free from bondage all those who are afflicted with emotional and psychological mental problems. I ask you also to strengthen our pilgrim participants as they struggle in their spiritual life, in their spiritual dryness. I ask you, Lord, through the intercession of St. Padre Pio, that they may be given once again consolation and your loving, intimate presence 
may be afforded them. And to our parishioners who may not be with us, I ask you, Padre Pio, through your mighty intercession, heal them also of all their afflictions of sickness and diseases. I ask you to release them, set them free from any kind of spiritual bondage, from any kind of emotional and psychological struggles. I ask you, dear Padre Pio, through your mighty intercession, set them free from any sickness. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Be relieved of your suffering. Solievo de la sofferenza. Thanks be to God.